In your 80 years on this planet, who has been the most influential person in your life? That's a little difficult to say. Uh, you see, many of my friends, some spiritual practitioner, some spiritual leader, some scientist. Many people have served many different purposes. For then you. certainly, uh, modern time, Mahatma Gandhi. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, Luther King. Although I, uh, both, I, I, uh, I and I never met. You speak a lot about compassion. What are three things people can do to show themselves love and compassion? Because it starts with self-love. Yes, self-respect or self-love, very important. Without that, impossible to extend to other. Entire seven billion human beings have the same sort of feeling, want happy life. The secret thing is, we have this mind, you see, that uh, through our effort, through training, we can change our mental attitude. The destroyer of peace is anger, hatred, jealousy. Then uh, should investigate what is the opposite emotion. But that's love, forgiveness. A lot of people talk about being confused, dealing with uncertainty, confusion, or fear. How do you deal with that? Fear, uh, some fear, realistic. Uh, because of that, because of that fear, uh, take some precaution, including hygiene for these things. Okay. Uh, then another fear, actually, uh, not much, or should they, uh, reasons or uh, reality, but uh, mental sort of creation. Here, too much self-centered attitude. Uh, individual person is a little bit remain distance from other. That is the basis of fear, distrust, mm -hmm. distance, and distrust. Well, that's the basis of fear. What do you think the greatest threat our society faces today is? I think immediate violence, various level, individual level violence, and then organized or, yes, organized, you see. And you also talked a lot about climate change yesterday. Do you think that that is a huge impending crisis for the world? Oh, yes, of course. Actually, uh, due to global warming, uh, nature disasters already started, already more disaster. And now this will increase. What are your thoughts? I just want to ask you about something huge that's been happening in the United States is a recent legalization of gay marriage. Do you have any thoughts on that? Since many years, so many people ask me that, mm -hmm. then I, I respond, yes, uh, individual people who have some religious sort of belief, then better to follow their own religious sort of what's it, uh, advice or teaching. Then those people who are not much serious about religion, mm -hmm. then up to individual. If they, if, if they find that's more satisfactory way, okay. I saw you speak last year, and someone asked you what you carry with you in your satchel. Can you share that with us? Firstly, you see, one Buddha statue. Uh, Some candy? candy. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, and, and two or three pens. Right. Pen. Uh, pen. People always seem to lose their pens. That is, I think, due to lack of mindfulness. Oh, <laughs> that's what's been happening to me all these years. <laughs> <laughs> then? Ricola, is this for me? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> These days, I also carry this one. Oh, hand sanitizer. <laughs> that's really good. So, that's all. Okay. Do you have any regrets? Regret? Personally, no. What will the 14th Dalai Lama's legacy be? Uh, I don't know. Actually, uh, see, as a Buddhist monk, should not think one's own name or one's own I say, legacy, these things. It's not important. 
important is while you're alive. Uh, you should be something uh, useful to other. Should not create problem for other. That's important. Then doesn't matter what, what other people say, what his historical sort of books say. Doesn't matter. Nothing.